Hey guys, we're back with a full review of the Hi-Fi Rose RS250 High Performance Network DAC Streamer. Now, if you haven't already seen our full overview of the Hi-Fi Rose product lineup with the design and features, be sure to check out the brand overview linked below to discover why we were completely blown away by the design and audio quality when we first experienced these at Expona this year. Now, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this review. As we've mentioned in some of our other reviews and the overview, Hi-Fi Rose has a pretty cool backstory. Its parent company, SciTech, was founded in 1954 where they first started making set-top boxes for television sets in Korea. Now, what's interesting is one of the executives at SciTech was an audiophile, so he created a division within the company dedicated to high-performance audio. In 2017, the idea that started from a passion for premium components, ideal circuitry, and beautiful hardware with the best user experience available became a reality, and the Hi-Fi Rose lineup and the RS250 that we have here today was born. In our Hi-Fi Rose overview, we covered the design philosophy behind this new brand and the user experience. But for this review, we will tell you more about the RS250 hardware and explain its features. Since a streaming DAC frequently accesses very large libraries of music from a network attack storage device like a NAS or even the internet, the user interface is important. Since its parent company, SciTech, designs touch interface software and assembles all of the internet kiosk products in-house, Hi-Fi Rose has the resources of a larger tech company. Now, what's really interesting to think about is how internet kiosks are actually designed. Internet kiosks are used in high traffic public places such as airports. Their software has to be user friendly and easy to understand. And lastly, they are always connected to the internet. So they need to have custom hardware that is physically robust and software that is reliable and easy to update. The hardware and software benefits make a lot of sense for high-end audio network players. And I can see all of these design elements trickle down here into the RS250. For the hardware, the RS250 is a streamer and a preamp that comes with the same size 8.8 inch touch capacitive display and the same dimensional form factor as its little brother, the RS201E. But this model steps up the build quality inside and out for a greater emphasis on sound quality. Internally, there is a powerful multi-core ARM 64-bit processor with four gigabytes of RAM running a custom Hi-Fi Rose version of the Android operating system. So the systems are completely updatable as Hi-Fi Rose is constantly adding new features. This unit also has an 8.8 inch touch capacitive display that will show high definition album cover info and video playback at 60 frames per second. The front top panel is made from high quality anodized aluminum that has also been acoustically optimized by being processed as an intercool unit to maximize thermal efficiency and to reduce vibrations throughout the chassis, which also added an extra two pounds to the RS250's weight overall compared to its RS201E little brother. Additionally, there is a very smooth rotary style control right above the headphone jack for a premium feel that just looks fantastic with the RS250 silver finish. The main body of the unit spans just about 11 inches wide, eight inches across, and it stands three inches tall, weighing about seven pounds overall. Now, if you're into high quality sound and looking for a streaming DAC preamp that is also a Rune endpoint, the high performance ESS Sabre DAC chip inside the RS250 will be a fantastic upgrade for a high end two channel system. The ES9038 Q2M DAC is ESS's extremely quiet two channel DAC that features a minimum phase slow roll off filter with ultra low noise for a smoother, more natural, resolute sound. In terms of audiophile playback, the RS250 can handle more high res audio formats compared to the RS201E, up to 32 bit, 768 kilohertz. The RS250's internal power supply uses a fully linear configuration rather than an external switch mode system, which minimizes electrical noise and distortion from being transmitted to the high performance DAC. 
A linear power supply can give you the best possible sound since it shields the power system away from the audio signal, which also provides clean, reliable power to the CPU and the audio output circuits. The rear panel has similar inputs and outputs as the RS-201E for connecting devices and other gear, but in lieu of speaker outputs, there is a pair of single-ended analog outputs for connecting to a power amp or a pair of active speakers, plus three digital audio outputs, including coaxial, optical toslink, one USB Type-A audio output, and one HDMI 2.0 port that will output video with a resolution up to 4K and send audio and the 4K video to your TV, projector, or even a home theater receiver. For connecting with sources, there's a pair of single-ended RCA analog inputs plus the digital inputs, including coaxial optical toslink, one USB Type-B audio input that will let you connect a computer or a laptop, plus another USB 3.0 Type-A port for connecting USB storage devices and an Ethernet port to connect it over Wi-Fi. So if you have to have a collection of high-res music and 4K videos stored on an external hard drive, the USB 3.0 DAC input will let you experience all of it right from the 8.8-inch front panel display. You can even install a 7-millimeter size SSD hard drive in an under-chassis bay right under the unit for up to 4 terabytes of internal storage. The RS-250 will also do AirPlay, DLNA, Rune, Spotify Connect, Tidal, Cobas, and more. And if you have a legacy DAC that you just love the sound of with only a SPDIF input, then the RS-250 could act as a network bridge or use the RS-250 as a DAC preamp with a variable output, which is ideal for a power amp. You could also connect a phono preamp to the RS-250's analog inputs and use it with a turntable. As a streaming DAC, preamplifier, and Rune endpoint, the RS-250 is designed to be an expandable hub that will really enhance two-channel music. There is also a headphone jack right on the front panel that will accept a 3.5 millimeter stereo mini plug connection. So if you don't need an integrated amp to be built into your streaming DAC, stepping up from the RS-201E to the RS-250 will give you ESS's flagship single stereo DAC for even better sound reproduction on two-channel music. We tested the RS-250 in a medium-sized living room with a pair of KEF LS50 bookshelf passive speakers, and we enlisted the help of a Rotel A14 Mark II power amp, which provided plenty of power to drive them. When we powered the RS250 on for the first time, we were immediately greeted with a horizontal stream of familiar icons on the display. There are icons for music, video, Kobas, title, clock, settings, in out settings, plus some others that are less obvious. Tapping the settings icon allows you to make adjustments to the display brightness, the format of the clock display, the appearance of VU meters that can appear when music is playing, and you can also rearrange the order of the apps. You also have the ability to add or remove apps from the main menu, so you can keep the ones that you use and sort them just like an iPad or a tablet. There's also a built-in Rose App Store where you can update the apps to the latest versions. There's a really cool custom app that's called RoseTube, and this one will let you swipe through a curated list of YouTube videos with the highest resolution and audio stream available plus all of the advertising removed. There's a ton of classical performances in this app, and I have to say we all really enjoyed using these selections. You can also search and watch any video that's available on YouTube with this feature. Now, Hi-Fi Rose DAC streamers are really high-end two-channel audio devices that also happen to have 4K video capabilities, so fans of titles, exclusive video content will probably really love this feature. There's also an in-out settings app that will let you choose things like setting the digital or analog external inputs to internal, setting up where they default, and then choosing a digital or analog output. It's super cool. One thing I have to call out is how easy Hi-Fi Rose's companion app made it for multiple people to sign into their music streaming accounts like Tidal or Kobas. And the Hi-Fi Rose Connect app, all I had to do was just sign right into my Kobas account on my phone, even while someone else was already signed into theirs and already controlling the unit. This made it super easy for guests to stream their own music to the system when they came over. We streamed all kinds of music, including funk, rock, classical, EDM, and jazz, and everything sounded fantastic. The RS-250 presented sound that was clear, resolute, 
but very musical overall, which made everything from audio coming from 4K video content to high-res music sound really, really good. Now, I kept flipping back between the Hi-Fi Rose RS-201E and then back to this. And every now and then, you'll hear a component that not only makes everything sound clear, but at the same time, you get more warmth and harmonic richness to the sound. It was like wiping away a layer of grunge off a window to see more subtle colors of a beautiful sunrise. And this is exactly what the RS-250 did over the RS-201E. There was also an improvement in rhythm and pacing on the RS-250. We just got more into the music. Let's Dance, which was recorded in 1983 by David Bowie, features the rhythm guitar work and the studio chops from Nile Rodgers. At about two minutes and 55 seconds to the song, there's a deep, resolute, bass guitar that slides in with the rhythm and pacing that had us tapping our feet and then 30 seconds later Bowie's vocal just floated above the speakers with fantastic depth. There's also a really cool studio trick on this track where Nile Rodgers plays rhythm guitar with the famous 80s delay guitar effect that's syncopated with his rhythm playing. With all the sound effects and all the other instruments in the mix, it can be really hard to actually hear his guitar technique on this track, but the RS-250's high performance stack let me hone in on this actual guitar playing with much more clarity compared to other setups. The detail and stereo separation was very impressive. On the other hand, if you are looking for even more audiophile level resolution than this and clarity of detail, then you should consider stepping up to the flagship Hi-Fi Rose RS-150B. Overall, I could pick out details in the mix with even more stereo separation and clarity by comparison. With that said, if you want a sleek, easy to use network streamer that has a musical sound profile and doesn't take up very much room on your desk or on your tabletop, then I strongly recommend you check out the RS-250. With it being room ready, plus support for Bluetooth, AirPlay 2, Spotify Connect, and television connectivity on board, this really has everything you need for streaming high-end two-channel audio and 4K videos. As the step-up DAC streamer model in the Hi-Fi Rose lineup, the RS-250 delivers a lot of value for the music lover and plenty of options to expand it. For anyone wanting a network media player with a higher performance DAC, this is the model to consider. I would say, if you don't need an integrated amp in your network player and you just want something that's easy to use with a nearly nine inch wide front panel touch display, a good DAC and a pre-amplifier section built in, then this will be a fantastic upgrade for a high end two channel system. For anyone with a collection of high res music and 4K video files stored on a hard drive, this one delivers a very convenient solution to experience it all with better sound reproduction. We like that this can also pair with the Hi-Fi Rose RSA 780 CD drive and rip a CD collection right to the unit's internal storage when you install your own hard drive. This one delivered better performance on music, so for those who really care about having musical sound quality, Hi-Fi Rose RS-250 offers a very high performance stack chip and one of the best user interfaces we have ever seen at its price point. That wraps up our take on the RS-250. As a tech company made by audiophiles for audiophiles, Hi-Fi Rose products are focused on making premium components with custom build qualities that go well beyond traditional methods. I hope this quick review has given you some insight about this cool little high performance network DAC streamer and why we are so impressed with Hi-Fi Rose in general. To learn more about Hi-Fi Rose network streamers, integrated amps, and their CD drive be sure to check out those individual reviews or our overview. And if you're thinking about updating your media room or home audio setup, be sure to check out audioadvice.com where you'll find more reviews just like this one, product comparisons, and you can also browse our inspiration gallery and how-to videos. If you have any questions or if you want more info, be sure to give us a call, chat with us, or stop by one of our award-winning showrooms and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, Please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss the latest home audio and home theater content. And we'll see you next time.